is David Frayne, the editor of Tools of the Trade. I'm at a job set in Walnut Creek, California with Kurt Stevenson, who's going to show us his dump trailer. Kurt, why don't you tell us about your trailer here? It's a uh, it's 14,000 pound trailer. It'll, including the weight of the trailer, will hold 14,000 pounds. Uh -huh. uh, technically, it's rated at 10,000. Uh, it's semi-custom built. I got a, a configuration, so it's not like I went out and bought just a factory factory dump trailer from a factory dump trailer from right off the shelf or a lot or anything. I had it built the way I wanted. The company was really really accommodating to get it exactly the way I needed it. I what's really different with this trailer is most dump trailers will have a two foot bedside all the way around, and to get the extra height, they'll add on either metal or wood stake sides, uh -huh. some configuration or another. My old trailer had it that way. I, it got kind of old. So what I, I, I did the side the same way. So when you're trying to load this with a machine, such as a skid steer loader, you can you can remove all this and get it a lot lower. You can also hand load it a lot easier from the side if you're in a tight spot and can't get to it from the back. And I, I, I stacked the two by four at the bottom so you can leave that in even when you take these out and the machine you're loading it with. You won't, ba you won't bash it. Exactly. And um, there's minor things around the whole trailer that are great. They, they pretty much all have this to attach tie downs with. Mm -hmm. but, uh, they actually put a, a, a non skid surface on, on the step here. So you don't slip off. You don't slip. You're out here in the rain. It works really well. Uh -huh. You can get in, tie it off. Um, uh, a couple other things, too. So the four, foot, the four foot doors I like so you don't have to deal with the stake side that's really flimsy and they kind of attach funny. Mm hmm. And it's really the only downfall theoretically is you lose visibility if you ever like having a low trailer but the company had also offered a three foot high uh -huh. and you lose visibility with that so i just you might as well just go all the way to the four to the top is the way i figured it um i got they got little features you can add on like all these are extras but i got jacks put on the back corners and you can drop them when you load up a skid steer really nice because it keeps the trailer a lot more stable it doesn't slam your truck truck around uh -huh. the other great thing is that'll very easily lift both those tires off the ground to change tires and you get okay you get nails at the dump which i do probably every other trip every so those get used more than you might have thought they were they would when you bought it they, get used all the time. <laughs> I, they, they had told me that they've heard of guys using it for changing tires i've done it multiple times and they work better than a jack I won't ever use a jack on this, I just use that. Just keep a lug wrench with you. It has a spare, you can get that spare tire too. Put, you'll put as many of those spare tires on that you want. Here's the ramps that are pretty standard with, with most dump trailers. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll take them, we'll put two of them right next to each other. It's uh, about four feet wide or so, a little less, and you put a piece of four by eight plywood on it, and you have a nice walking surface to get in, uh -huh. wheelbarrows in. I've seen, since I had this, uh, the company, pe people have had the company put either a solid sheet on here or some of the diamond lath uh -huh. mesh, and what it does then is you, you can just walk right up it. You can do wheelbarrows right up it without covering it with anything. If I would have thought about that, I probably would have had it done. There's, um, there's, there's crazy little things that they think of too, like these little clips. So you, they got them on both sides too. What's that clip do? The clip keeps it from popping up. Oh, gotcha. I don't, I've never had to use it. Their hook's really good in the first place. But uh, they do, they do think of everything. Yeah, cool. Now, how long have you, how long have you had this trailer? I'm pretty sure I've had it for two years. Wow, I was cool. I'm trying, trying to figure that out. I use it every day. Uh huh. Just constantly. I thought about getting a second one. I just don't have room to keep it anywhere. Yeah. So you're showing me like the D rings are a little different. Yeah, the D rings on this trailer are uh, are nice because they. I mean, they put these little little ramps here, so any debris sliding off doesn't get hung up there. Uh huh. And surprisingly, it actually works. I had D rings just flat on my last trailer, and you would have two by fours all stacked all the up. way back, holding everything else back that the one two uh, by when you were dumping. Me. So it works works real well. I always I always check it before I put it back down, but there's hardly ever anything hung up in here at all. Uh -huh. uh, these these are spaced out far enough too that you don't get a bunch of gravel stuck in there. Mm -hmm. That happens with some trailers. So let's show you show, show me show me the front end of this and and uh, what else we've got on here. The uh, 
front of this trailer, here's another option. Just uh, they call it a rake rack. Yeah. It works pretty well. I can usually keep a flat shovel up there, a broom. Mm -hmm. um, that's about it, and it's it's kind of nice. Now you were telling me something before about your cover. The cover. Oh, the other nice thing about having the, the forefoot instead of having a, um, any kind of add-on is that your roller cover is all the way at the top. So it actually works. You just pull it right across and then hook it on the two hooks on the back and, and tighten it. And I got it sized so it's the exact width. You don't even hardly ever have to put bungee cords on the, on side. the sides. The uh -huh. only time you do is if you mount it up so high that you got to stretch it back down. It's just, it's, it's just great. We, we'll, we'll cover the load. If we're on a windy job site at the end of every day, we'll just kind of just drag it on and throw it down and it keeps any debris in there. From blowing around the site. Blowing around the site. Um, one thing I did I did think about doing is, this toolbox is great. I, I My old trailer had a real big one. I put on myself a truck toolbox. <laughs> and you could put brooms in there and long stuff and extra tarps, it was real nice. This one's designed, it has a shelf right here. It's designed more to keep their battery and the hydraulic fluid tank and pump in there. And then it has a small shelf for the gear you normally need in a trailer. Mm -hmm. I, I've thought about actually putting a high a high side box from the you'd see on the side of a pickup truck that goes on the bed rail. I've thought about putting one that one of those here, and you could then stick the broom in it and a whole bunch of things. It just, just starts getting heavy in for the, a little bit extra stuff. Is I guess what you'd get by that. Yeah, you get a little bit extra stuff. You start adding a lot of weight onto the trailer, but I keep my chains in here for for holding down the skid steer, the uh, the ratchet. Tire uh -huh. or whatever these things are called. Um, the, uh, I, I usually keep the big weight distributing hitch in here too when I'm not using it, and I keep the load bars in, extra bungees, rope, uh, a hard hat, and a vest because the dump makes us wear it. Now, what are these little switches? You got some electrical switches in here. But basically, it's a three way toggle switch. There's two of them. One of them is for the backup lights that are actually under the trailer. So light up behind you, mm -hmm. you see, see going backwards. The other one is for a set of strobe lights on the back for safety. Uh, I got them mainly because I got to back off of a busy street into a narrow road and there's always cars flying, flying by. And the way it's set up now is the truck automatically, when it turns on its backup lights and you're backing up, will flip the strobes on and the backup lights. You can put these in the middle position, it'll, they won't come on at all. So you can operate them individually. And if you put it all the way forward, it actually runs off the battery. It's in here so you could have the floodlights on. When you weren't connected to a truck. Right, when you're not connected to anything. You could put the strobe lights on if you're leaving it kind of out in the road or something. Mm -hmm. Or at night, you got the floodlights on. Uh, they've built these trailers with floodlights around them, too, if you needed some work lights. So it's, it's nice for that. Uh-huh. Wow. I forgot what they call this, but it's adjustable. You can put a um, you can put one of those um, pencil hitches on with the ring. You can adjust the height if you're on a, on a different height truck. It, my trailer hitch I got for this is adjustable too, so we just keep it right in the center. Uh huh. But if you would, you had different trucks and they weren't adjustable, then you could just move that up and down. Yeah, that's a good feature. And then if you ever wear this out or this malfunctions, you don't have to re-weld it. It's kind of nice. I yeah, that is interesting. I don't know how necessary that is, but it's it's kind of nice having the option, especially if, if you want to run a pintle. So you've got LEDs in these. Yeah. And 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 that was an option. Yeah, they have a standard incandescent bulb on um on their they they offer different price points for years. I got the decked out one. Um but the and and the red lights are actually way brighter than these yellow ones. I kind of want to change those out. But uh they work really well at night. People see you with your blinkers. You got two. These are both uh both pale, both brake, both turn signals. Uh so, come so on really you bright. you paid extra for the LEDs and thought it was worth it. Yeah, it kind of yeah, they threw it in as a package, but it is a bump up and it's definitely worth it. It is definitely definitely worth it. And you don't have you don't have to change the bulbs unless you break the lights somehow. So Kurt, what do you use this trailer for? Well, this trailer is is really one of our most essential tools as a as a general contractor. Um you can see right now we're using it for just demolition, uh just throwing debris directly into it. We um We'll leave it on large jobs just as a dumpster, and you can move it around. Like at the end of the day today, the client's got to get back in their uh, driveway here, and we're just going to move it over there. You can't do that with a dumpster. That's one of the greatest benefits of one of these. We uh, we'll use it for hauling dirt out in an excavation. It, it, you can load 10,000 pounds in it. That's as much as my demolition company can put in their big truck. And then you come back with a load of gravel, dump it, dump it. We'll. Um, we'll put the skid steer in here and move that around. We'll, we'll mobilize entire jobs. Uh, put all our, put a lot of tools in here. We can fit a couple gang boxes. Just stack this thing to the top. We put uh, put our scaffold in it. Just filled it with scaffold planks. Filled the other side with scaffold frames. 
just everything. So we move move tools around, materials. All uh, we're building the fence on, on the last weekend, and we just put a uh, put the pallets of concrete right in here. All the fence boards. You can detach it, leave it at the project, and take off with your truck and not have to unload it. It's just it's so versatile. Uh, I'm at the point where I'm almost going to buy a second one. I, I had another one before and just wanted to, to upgrade in the next weight level, next size level. But uh, I couldn't live without one. So.